Hello and welcome into the Sunday Sports Extra. I'm Andrew Shroff. We have another very busy show for you tonight. It was a big day for a couple of local guys in the NFL. We'll tell you what Jamal Charles and Sean Weatherspoon were able to do for their respective teams. Plus, we'll revisit this weekend's YMBL basketball tournament. But first, we begin with indoor soccer. The Texas Strikers are four games into the season, but they are still looking for that first win. And who knows, maybe it could come this Friday night against Monterey. Here to talk about the season so far, Strikers head coach Topper Kogan. Coach, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me here, Andrew. I appreciate it. 0-4 oh, oh start, not the start you wanted. How would you describe the team, though, right now? Um, well, I, I think the team is, well, we're frustrated. It's obviously we're frustrated, but I know the guys are motivated. The training's been going really well. We just have to translate some things into the games. So I, I guess I would say hopefully they're motivated and 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 interested in solving the problems. <laughs> I know last game, last night, seven goals in the third quarter. Yeah. Is it just certain runs like that that's determining these games for the strikers? To a certain degree, that's the indoor game anyway. There, it's, there's, they get a lot of goals scored in a very short, very short period of time. And so some of that's just the way the game is designed. I don't know exactly what happened. I haven't had a chance to review film yet, and I will, but we definitely came out flat in the third period, and it cost us a bundle because we were in the game. We scored the first two goals of the game, um, and even at the end of the period, we were pressing. Difference from last year to this year. Obviously, we know last year was a new team. Yeah. This year, you have a year under your belt. Have you noticed anything different when it comes to the team's play? Well, I, and our technical level is way ahead of where it was last year. And it didn't show in the third period yesterday. But in training, and, and I can remember the first couple, well, like it was yesterday. It was only five or six weeks ago. But the first couple of training sessions, and I looked over to my assistant, Joe, and I said, ooh, we could be pretty good this year. You know? Um, the challenge is going to be to maintain that technical level in, a, in an environment where the speed of play is faster than most of these guys have experienced most of their life. The indoor game is just, it's more condensed and it's faster. And so getting them to play at that speed with the same technical level is, is among the challenges. How yeah. important would it be to get that first win in front of the home crowd on Friday night? Well, and against Monterey, too. Yeah. I, it's, this is when we played, played them, them. We played yeah. them already, and in the second half against Monterey, um, our result in the second half was 5-3 in their favor, but there were two really soft goals that I had some, I had some issue with the officials on. Um, and occasionally you see me have those issues during the games, too. That's an entertaining <laughs> value part of it, too. We may but might coach up for a game this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not a great right. idea. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think, I think the players, I, I know I did. I know my, co my assistant Joe did. Um, I think the players understood in the second half that that's a group we can play with. In terms of fitness and speed, we're right there. We're actually, in terms of fitness and speed, we were better than they were. For you, this is your second year at the helm. Was it easier heading into the season this year, knowing what to expect? Um, the part that I liked this year was that I actually had some time to prepare. And we had a <laughs> couple more tryouts, and I had we had almost a month of training before the first game. Last year we had two weeks. I actually had two training periods before our first scrimmage last year. So, I mean, it really was catch up the entire year. Um, I would like – it's an interesting mix because we had all this extra time to train, and so we're – playing better at certain times it's just got to find a way to make it consistent we got to put together a full 60 minutes and then tell, tell us how to get tickets how can people go out there and get tickets well the easiest way right now is to go to fordpark.com but uh, you can actually go to our website texasstrikers.net and it's all spelled out um, and there's links to Ticketmaster and all that different stuff. And then you, if you find a Strikers player wandering around town in their jerseys, they have discount coupon cards for everybody as well. So um, it's... See, any, it's, see anyone wearing bright green? Yep. Stalk them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, stalk them the, a little bit. Stalk <laughs> them all the way to the stadium. Right. And, then, and then yell really loud when you get there. <laughs> so. And then, Coach, I'll get you out of here on this last question. The expectations for the team going forward... Do you have a certain amount of wins that you want to accomplish, or what's the goal? You know, it's one step at a time. It really is. I think right now we want to we want to show up against Monterey and, and keep it keep ourselves in the game long enough to have a chance to win it at the end when our fitness will, I think, give us an advantage over them. That's the first step. Get that first win. From there, we start to build some confidence and we move on. I we haven't played a team yet where player for player, I felt like we were they were better than us. Um, I have, we have obviously played some teams that in terms of organization are. So that's my, that's my job. I got to get us more organized. Good deal. So that's not an entirely <laughs> <laughs> easy thing to do, but it's going to happen. We it, have to make it exactly happen. Exactly. It has to regardless. So awesome. Yep. Coach, thanks so much for coming yeah. on the show and best luck Friday.